so it is currently 7 14 a.m and it is dark outside right now i'm on my way to drop off the kids first so i drop off jaden first and then i drop off jaylene somewhere else so this is how my morning starts um I have to do all this within 45 minutes. I'm in Milpitas right now. Uh, and then I have to go to Santa Clara. Then from Santa Clara, I have to go to Los Gatos. So if you guys are from the area, you guys know all these cities are close by to each other. But it's kind of a lot going on in the morning. That's how my morning start. Seen the way you're talking on my phone last night. Oh my God. Papito. Say bye, Papito. Say bye, Jaden. Bye, Jaden. Bye, guys. Bye, Papito. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's been almost two years since I've since I've started the program. I think I started the program January 2017. I mean, it started last year, but I mean, it's already October, November, December, January. So I'm three months, you know, out to making this a year. So two years, I mean. So yeah, I'm currently still in school. It's hard guys like it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is like it's just mentally you need to be ready for it you, you need to really you need to be committed and you need to put your all into it because you do want to be the best the best in the field you know you want to get a job right away okay so now we're dropping off Jaylene it is now 7 40 this is gonna be the first time like, like for reals. Okay, we're here, mamas. Let's go. I am so fucking late today. I've honestly never been this late before, so hopefully I still make it on time. Like I said, I do not want to make a bad impression. You know, I want to make it seem you know, I'm reliable and I'm reliable and I'm on time, so I need to be on time. During my internship, I probably won't be able to vlog. I've only been here for like three weeks. So yeah, right now I'm in an internship where um, we do 3D, 4D ultrasounds and we do like OB, uh, you know, babies, like diagnostics and stuff like that. And uh, he also does gynecology. Uh, probably check in with you guys when I'm done here and that's probably going to be 12, 12 p.m. So I'll check back in you guys. I'll check back in with you guys when I'm out of here. Okay guys, it is now 12.43. And I'm barely leaving. I have to go pick up my kids. And I forgot my phone at home, so that sucks. But, um, but yeah, today was a good day. Uh, the morning was a little slow in there, but um, there is some there is someone else shadowing, so I got a chance to scan them. I got to scan her ovaries, her ovaries, and her uterus. We had two OB patients, so I was also able to scan them. Um, 
this is how my day is so it's 1:45, and not 1:45. it's 12 45 and I get to go home and chill for a little bit and then at 5 I'm gonna start heading back to the school so I can get some more practice because guys practice makes perfect you need to get as much scanning time as you can because it really makes a difference. Oh. Say hey guys, I'm back. Say I'm, I'm back. You're back. Go. Daddy shark. Oh, daddy shark. Okay, go. Ready? One, two, and daddy shark. Do, 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 do. How about Jaden shark? Ready? Danny shark. Danny shark? Okay, okay, do Danny shark now. Ready? One, two. Danny shark. Do, 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 do. And we like to talk about pumpkin patches. That's where it starts. <laughs> and we like to show her. Teach her. Okay, she's like a parrot right now, so she repeats everything I say. Everything. Everything. Okay, guys, so now I'm on my way to Starbucks. It's been a long day, and I need some freaking Starbucks. <sighs> Okay. Well, now we're on our way to get some Starbucks and then we're gonna go to school to practice. When I go to school, there's basically no one there in the lab when we're in there in the afternoons. That's why we go in the afternoon because the lab is free there's no student so that means that we can use whatever machine without having to trade off by like 30 minutes so that's the thing is that sometimes if at your school there is a lot of students and the ratio is off like way off then that kind of sucks because you won't get as much scanning time and that means that you would have to go you'd really have to use your time wisely which a lot of people don't to be honest um but but yeah <laughs> all right there you go okay, thank you no problem have a great day thanks you too okay guys so it's 5 45 i'm finally getting to school if you think morning traffic is bad I think afternoon traffic is even more annoying. <laughs> but anyways, I stopped and got my Starbucks. That's probably one of my uh, biggest recommendations is you're gonna need this to survive. So yeah guys, this is what the machine looks like right here. Uh, you have all the buttons transducers and we have this little exam room that we practice in oops and there's more machines right over there and the lighting is really dim in here not completely dark but really dim and we have that screen right there uh, whenever we're learning a new protocol and the teacher is explaining it to us he normally does it here so the whole class could see it Let's see what he's doing yeah it's pretty cool let me see i could pull up some old pictures of mine So here's some of my 
some of my images that I've taken. I think these were for my test. A lot of people would think that um, I was pregnant when in reality this was in my neck. <laughs> probably don't know what you're even looking at but with time you get better and you can identify things a lot better some of the questions that you guys asked on Instagram and some of the questions that I've been getting repeatedly the last year or two so okay so the first one is what made you want to be an ultrasound technician okay and the reason why I decided to become an ultrasound tech was after I had my own uh, ultrasound done for my daughter I was I went in for like a 3d 4d ultrasound and I just thought that that was really exciting like you know, just seeing the reaction of my family it was just really it was really nice I was like hey like I could do that you know and then I looked up how much you can make being an ultrasound tech in the Bay Area and that's when I completely made up my mind <laughs> they make really good money um, but yeah these are some of my ultrasounds that I got done for my daughter so Look at your little feet, like that's crazy. You could see that before they're even born. She was, okay, that's her foot and that's her mouth right there. That's crazy. So yeah, that's what made me wanna become an ultrasound tech. Okay, so the next question is what school did you attend? And right now I'm attending IBT Tech. So it stands for Institute for Business and Technology. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of schools in the Bay Area. Actually, there's not too many. I lied. There's, you have to do your research and look for schools. Ultrasound tech schools out here in the Bay Area are actually pretty hard to get into. And the waiting lists are ridiculous. Like, years ridiculous. Like, um, I know that Foothill has, like, a five-year waiting list. Uh, if you want to get into a Kaiser program, it would be lottery. So, it's, like not even first come first served it's whoever they pick out whatever number you get whatever name gets called out that's when you get accepted to the program and i've heard of like one year two years wait for other schools but it's really expensive too so that brings me to another question is how about how much did your program cost my program cost about thirty thousand dollars in total for the two years um, I heard that Gurnick's 
program is actually a little bit more expensive. It's $50,000. So definitely do your research. Um, but yeah, it's about how much it costs. And of course I did the FAFSA and loans to pay for some of it. And when you first start, then you pay some more. But most of it was paid I think I got like 12000 from FAFSA and then the rest of it I'm going to have to pay back in loans. Let's see. Is it possible to work while going, while doing the program? Yes, it is. It's very possible. I made that shit happen. Uh, I really did. Like, so my, my days, Monday through Thursday, were in the morning. I would go to school from, what was it, from 8 to 1. Um, from 1 to 2, I would pick up my son from school or, yeah, from school and then drop him off at his babysitter's house. And then from there, from 2 to 2.30, it was my drive to work. I would start work from 2.30 to 11 p.m. And I feel like the reason why I was able to do this while going to school was I mean, while working was because my job was really laid back the last four hours and I had a lot of time to study. So I worked from 2.30 to 11 p.m. and then school from 8 to 1 p.m. So it's possible and I have two kids. So I did it. You could do it too. Okay, let's see. Another question is, I want to be an ultrasound tech. Any advice? Um... My advice for you would probably be to do your research, you know, don't just, you know, a lot of people think that you go into ultrasound and it's automatically just for babies. Like there's a lot of other things you could do with ultrasound, like, you know, lower extremity veins, upper extremity arteries, veins, you know, you could go as far as doing echo in the heart, you could do specialized like on the boobs on there's a lot of things that you guys could do you know cardiovascular <clears throat> so just do your research research the schools around your area more advice i would give would be you'd have you really have to be dedicated to this program because it's really intense um yeah, it's just really intense. There's a lot of studying. There's a lot of tests. There's a lot of medical terminology, physiology. It's not as easy as it sounds. So mentally, you'd really have to go in prepared to study your ass off. And to not have much of a social life either. So that would be my advice is to really think about it before starting it because it's takes a lot of commitment to do this but if you really set your mind to it you could do it okay another question I got was how do you feel when you got to scan your best friend and guys that was like the most ugh, I don't even know how to describe it it was really exciting and I just can't believe that I was able to scan my best friend her her baby you know like that's crazy like she was She's been my best friend for a very long time and she was there through my pregnancy and, and now I was able to be there for her pregnancy and to see her baby and that's really like a trip guys. Like who could say they got to see their baby, their fr best friend's baby doing an ultrasound. I'll sit here and wait. <laughs> Not a lot of people could say that, so that was really exciting, and I'm really happy I got got a chance to do that. We both are, so shout out to you for coming in. Okay, and then another DM I recently received was, <clears throat> see, uh, so it's someone that wants to become an ultrasound, a sonographer. That's another, that's like the official term of an ultrasound tech is a sonographer. So this girl wants to become a sonographer and she wants to know what classes, programs she should take. Yeah, so um, it wouldn't, okay, so if you have like some GE from a community college, they will take it because you, 
Okay, so you will get your associate's degree out of this program. So, of course, you have to take general ed classes during this program. But if you have some already done, if you have credits from a college, you could transfer those over and they'll accept them. But other than that, you don't really have to go and take certain classes. Everything that you're going to, all the classes that you need are within this program. So... You just have to find an ultrasound program near you. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all you have to do and you'll get your associate's degree. From all of the ones that I've seen, you get your associate's or there's options of getting your bachelor's degree. Uh, they didn't have that option at my school, but definitely do your research and, you know, look for anything. Look for the best school out there because this is your future, you know, so yeah <clears throat> but yeah in general um let's see what other questions that i get asked i get asked how do i like it do i really like it like, my honest opinion about the program is that i feel like my school was the school that i was that i'm attending is a little the program is a little new so i feel like it wasn't as organized as i feel like other programs are or that it is now that i'm done all the new students have more of a, an organized program and protocols to go through so i mean a lot of people including myself think that we were kind of like their testimonies you know but you know i got it done me and my friends got it done and you know we're finally done but that's why I'm saying you really do your research. That's one thing I would have changed is I would have done more research on schools around my area. But, you know, I'm happy. I learned a lot and hopefully I'll be getting a job soon. Um, another thing is that these programs are normally not like your typical uh, community college or university like schedules. Um, and what I mean by this is that they're year round. So that means you don't get summers off, you don't get spring break, you don't get Veterans Day, Columbus Day, any of those days off. Uh, the only time that we really did get off was, I think, Christmas. It was the two weeks, the, the week between Christmas and New Year's. That was it. All the other like major holidays like 4th of July and stuff like that, we wouldn't go into class. We didn't have school, the school was closed, but we would still have to make up those days on a Friday to make up for those days because those were included in our modules. So that's how we, we would go off. So we have every class is a module. So that would be four weeks would be, would be equal to one module. So we would have, so the classes that I took were, let's see, like the main courses were, okay, so we had to do three weeks of, not three weeks, three modules of, what is it, physics, three modules of physics, three modules of abdomen, three modules of vascular, and two modules of OBGYN. And then the rest was basically like general ed and human anatomy. I know that's part of it. And what's the other one? Medical terminology. You need to know a lot of medical terminology when you go into this. You learn a lot about the human body. Cause of course, if you're scanning someone's body, you need to know where everything is. So I had a little trouble with that because I never really learned about it like in depth like I did at school. So I had trouble with that, but you know, so I said, you guys, it's going to require a lot of studying. Yeah, this is going to turn into a little series on my journey of becoming an ultrasound technician, an actual working one. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.